Hey there, it's Brandon Burns, Head of Community here at Runway. We're back on the red couch, and with me is a very special guest from Action Coach Geelong, Hugh Bowman. How are you? Great, thank you. <laughs> great to see you, and uh, great yeah. to see that you've taken up the same... Correct. Same, I guess, fashion as I have. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Um, it's, it's, it's awesome to have you on the couch, and I think today's chat is going to be really beneficial for our early stage startup audience, because you literally work with um, businesses every day. You know, so maybe um, do me a favour and tell everyone exactly what it is that you do at Action Coach, and um, you know the type of people you work with on a daily basis. Right. Okay. Yeah. So no worries. Well, um, uh, yeah. So I'm a business coach, and I tend to I work with businesses usually for the long term, like over one, two, or three years, and I have a bit of a focus in terms of marketing focus with technical and trades businesses. I work with others, um, but uh, just a picture of my week of uh, this week is that. I've pretty much, you know, seen a dozen or fourteen people this week. Yeah. You know, and I see them every single fortnight, ongoing, and uh, so we do. Yeah, great. So, um, tell me when you're starting out, and maybe you're just in early idea stage. How important is it to get a business coach, someone who can um, check in with, like, on that fortnightly basis, and really lean on to help guide you through setting up your business properly? You know how important is it to have you know obviously there's an expense involved for people but um, I'm sure you'd say that that's minimal compared to the value you'll get and the mistakes you'll be able to avoid by having that coach. Yeah. Well it's pretty common to hear uh, most people fluff their first two businesses up it takes them three businesses before they actually become successful yep. which is interesting yep. um, and so being able to um, get some advice or help has a huge impact you know making sure that um, that you've got a good plan, you know, realise the market's there and you've got a clear vision of what you're trying to get to it. And yep. whether it's actually worth entertaining the, um, uh, the embarking on this whole business in the first place. I mean, if it's, yeah. if it's a business that's not going to give you what you want to get out of it, as in like a long-term business that you can sell or something, yep. perhaps you shouldn't be starting in the first place and finding yep. a different business entirely. So, so mm. that business coach can help you have the courage to really have that conversation with yourself about what you're trying to do early to understand if it's viable. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And, and I mean, let's face it, where do you go to learn about business? Yeah, well, I mean, like, yeah. Runway obviously is, is one place, but online, I guess, and, um, and experience from others. And, yeah, and, well, know. this is it. it it's all, it, from the people I meet, uh, there isn't any one great place and, mm -hmm. to, to learn about business. You know, um, learning from friends or family. There's a it, school it, of it, hard knocks, you know. Well, and, that, and that's the problem. They're the, they're the one in three that, that you know, two out of three that failed. Yeah. Um, and the five, um, you know, one in five last five years type thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, yeah, absolutely. You, you know, the most help you can it helps. Yeah. You, you know, just to get even the right thinking right and get the plan right mm -hmm. and, and some skills. Because people like me, you know, typical, a lot of trades, for example, I mean, they spend five years learning how to be a tradesman. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been five years learning how to be a lawyer or a doctor or what have you. Yeah. You know, learn how to grow a business and run a business. So. Yeah. And so I guess for you, um, a bit of a luxury for your clients is that you've actually run businesses yourself in the past. So talk me through how, you know, you did that for quite some time and then you wanted to get back into uh, giving back and, and helping others on their journey with their business. What, what sort of made you go, I'm going to transition to doing that? Uh, well... Action Coach, my business, is, is a business. Yeah. You know, to say that I've, I've gone from business to not being a business is not yeah. quite right. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just a different style, you know. Yeah. So, um, uh, I guess, why did I transition? To yeah, because like, yeah. you, you run other businesses. Yeah, so and... why? So, I mean, I guess the history is that I'm, a, I'm a, a, an expert in, in industrial refrigeration, you know, a very niche business, international. And, and the real kicker was me that I, I got to the top of my profession and wanted to go... Well, where to next? And I was kind of working international interstate, and yep. I have got five kids <laughs> and, wow. and a wife who works as well. And, <laughs> and I thought, well, um, you know, let's let's change what I do. Yeah. And and, and and behind that is I've got an MBA as well. I go, well, how can I adapt my skills to people in Geelong? Mm -hmm. And the reality is, I've got good business skills yep. and good technical skills. Yep. You know, and how do I make it work to suit my life? That was probably yeah. And I've been a consultant. Yeah, in the yeah. Past. Maybe you didn't know this. I've been a consultant. Mate, you know, share it. And, and uh, you know, I've built a, you know, managed the construction of a yogurt factory, you know, well. in Morwell, and did this. And as soon as I left, 
guess what? They're ringing me up saying, can you come back and how do you fix this and how do you run this? And mm -hmm. that whole consulting framework, I didn't really enjoy. Like yeah. Because you go from one to the next. Whereas, how do I share my skills in a place like Geelong, mm -hmm. where there's, I mean, I'd call it small business field compared to, you know, Melbourne, say. Mm -hmm. um, and and that's, the, that's why I ran into coaching and found that, well, there's, it means I can help lots of businesses on multiple different levels and use my background and business skills as well. Yeah. And, so, and I stumbled across Action Coach and, and yeah. that's how we got here today. That's <laughs> great. So, so Action Coach is a, is a worldwide brand, yeah? There's, how many are there? Uh, there's 1,400 offices globally. Yeah, wow. 82 countries. Yeah. Um, and and I, I guess it's, to, to people I work with, it doesn't make much difference. Yeah. But, but what it brings and, uh, is great training. Great yeah. training materials, great system, and a great community. Mm -hmm. Like every fortnight, I'm on calls with the Australian coaches, and twice a year we have conferences and we have training days in between that as well. Like, yeah. and how do we use the, the, the tools that we know work with businesses mm -hmm. that that you know help us? The average business I work with grows by forty three percent a year, for example. Mm. Well, wow. how do we use these tools and and implement those with the businesses that we we work with the yep. top you know for example yep. i mentioned the type of businesses i work with but there's other action coaches that only work with allied health yeah and there's other coaches that only work with law firms for example so how do we yep. use these tools and employ you know implement them into the business and make sure they get great results so what so made what you choose um to niche into the the trades and the technical trades or is it just something that just took 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 off and you just had to go yeah yeah interesting well um uh it's a bit like this is like a, a, a 18 months ago thing, slap in the face. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I've been doing this eight years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so before that, I was, I was very broad. Uh, I was r roughly a third health, a third professional services, and a third sort of technical, I'd call that, in mm -hmm. trades. And, and there's a good reasons behind that. You know, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a professional engineer and things. Yeah. So yeah, there, I work with them. And then we actually run a medical practice as well. My wife runs a medical practice. Yes. You know, so I know health really well. And we know how to make that work. And, and of course, trades, my background my whole life working with engineers and tradesmen on construction sites so yep. that's, that's obvious but yeah. when, I, when I dive in dive into the numbers and and this is probably the, the core of where most small businesses fail mm -hmm. you dive into them and go well who do I get the best gains from who do I enjoy working with the most and who um, uh, who do I retain the longest yeah and guess what it's trades they go well course yeah yeah no brainer <laughs> I spent my whole life working with trades and technical guys so why don't I just make it Soul focus. Yeah, that's unreal. And, and you'd appreciate this too, in that, you know, once you've decided that, mm -hmm. if you're generating any materials and any videos or any scripting, any the way you speak, present, dress, yeah. everything, if you know your exact target market, yep. how much easier is it to talk to them directly? Totally, that's a great point. Yeah, and, absolutely. And so, so that's why I'm sort of going down that road. I mean, I work with others too, but but yeah. still, you know, you know, do it. It just suits me, and I can get away with not shaving and things, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you're on, um, is it 396 Latrobe Terrace? 398. 398, and opposite, there's a Opposite Latrobe board? Terrace? Yeah. Opposite, sorry, opposite Cadenia Park. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, next to standby security there. And yeah, yeah, don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, you should yeah. say, look at my billboard, not, the, not yeah. anyone else's nearby. When, how can people um, find you and get in touch and maybe reach out to talk about helping them on their journey? Well, it's pretty easy uh, because uh, if you type in business coach Geelong yeah. or a few moments business coach or something of that nature, I'm just all over the internet. I'm everywhere. So, yep, he's uh, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, not quite nationally. but Is it actioncoachgeelong.com.au? Correct. Yep. Yeah, beautiful. Yep. Yeah, awesome. Yep. All right, well, I'll share a link in the comments after this and we're going to have to get you back for an extended chat and maybe do a podcast and everything as well. And right. That could be really cool. Okay, well, no problems. It's yeah. been great talking to you. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Thanks, you. And... Um, We'll see you guys next time. All right, see you then. Bye.